Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cut down a feather edge panel. It's a pretty simple process and we're going to start right now. I've also made a video on how to cut an overlap panel. I'll leave a link at the top here for you to go to if you're looking to cut one of those panels. The first thing you're going to want to do is determine the width of your fence panel for the space that you need to fit it in. In this instance it's 175 centimetres so we're going to measure and mark top and bottom of this panel. And then you're going to need a long straight edge or a long level to join those two markings up. Of course, then you're going to need a large flat surface to, to cut this panel on. So you've got your panel marked up and you're ready to cut. What we're going to be doing is extracting the, the framing timber or the batten from the back of this off cut and reattaching it to the panel that you're going to fit into place. Of course, this panel is flat on the ground, so you want to raise this up off the ground so when you go to cut it, you're not cutting into the, the material underneath the patio or, or the driveway. So what I tend to do is just get your straight edge or a piece of timber um, and just fit it underneath the panel just behind the, the cut line. And then that's going to give you a, raise the panel up enough off the ground to avoid the, the circular saw to cut into the ground. So once you've raised it up off the ground, you're ready to cut. Now you could use a hand saw for this, you could use a jigsaw. We're going to use a Makita 36 volt circular saw. It's got just enough power to, to get through this thickness of timber without any problems. Of course you could use a hand saw, it would take you a lot longer. And a jigsaw is probably going to give you a bit more of a rougher cut and a less straight cut. So the best tool and the quickest tool is going to be a circular saw. Now one thing I forgot to mention in the last video is to wear a good pair of eye protection. These do really throw off a lot of splinters and you don't want to get one of those in your eyes. So as I said, we're going to be extracting this long length of framing timber from the off cut and we're going to be fitting it onto the back of the, the cut down panel. Now this may be screwed into place or nailed into place. So of course if it's screwed in you just unscrew the screws but in this instance these panels are nailed together so you essentially need to break it out and then use a crowbar to pry up the timber off of the cut. Once you've extracted your piece of framing timber, the next step is we want to fit this to the end. But as you can see, you've got the two bracing timbers along the back here that are too long and they're going to need to be cut down in order for this to fit in on the end. So you just offer up your piece of timber so it's flush with the end of the cut and then you just mark it off with a pencil. So now we're ready to cut these end bits off and you could use a circular saw but I'm going to use a hand saw because it's a little bit safer. Now you saw my struggle with this, especially if it's wet timber, but if you just put a little bit of oil on the blade it should slide quite nicely. You've 
cut your horizontal timbers, ready to fit this back on the end. Should fit in there quite snugly. Again, this was nailed previously. You could use nails, but I'm going to use these 5x100 mil screws, wood screws. You're going to need to put one in the top, one in each horizontal batten, and then one in the bottom as well. Once you've done that, you're going to need to flip the panel back over and put some smaller screws in the front. Now the last step is to screw in this end feather because where you've taken the end batten off, that's now no longer secured to the end of the panel. So we're going to use some 4x40 wood screws to just screw that in. Okay guys, so that's how you cut down a close ball panel to fit. Now, thank you for watching. If you've liked this video at all, please smash that like button because it helps my channel grow. Of course, if you want to see any more DIY videos, how-to videos, tool reviews, and other related stuff, please subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell to be notified when new content is uploaded. Thank you for watching. Bye.